Today on Logan Lee Adventures, this is our first ever time taking the trains in Vietnam, and we were eager to see what the French colonials had left behind with the railway system. Made it to the train station in Da Nang, and now we're gonna catch a train from Da Nang. Oh, train. Wait. Yeah, catch a train from Da Nang. Oh, okay. So it's a train today in Da Nang. Like, no, we are in Da Nang. We are in Da Nang. Okay. One of my favorite Vietnamese city ever. Yeah. Look at this wonderful kiosk to print our e-ticket. So easy. It just comes out here in the train station. Really cool. It's like right in front of the train station at Da Nang train station. Just want to get a close up look at that. Look at that. What a view. train has arrived! Look at this cool blue, red and white train. Oh, love this cabin. We're in cabin number 10. That was cabin number 7. We're gonna keep walking. So this is our cabin. It's super ultra modern. Look at this. Two beds up top, two beds in the bottom. Really nice. And such so well air conditioned as well. Look at the seat from outside. What you don't know is the heat from the outside, but look at this. Got some snacks for a ride, of course. And this whole cabin only costs us five euros for one bed. So nice. Originally, I was thinking of flying from Da Nang to Hue, Vietnam's old imperial capital, but then Yeroon found out about this train ride and just an awesome 3 hour experience to be in. All of the Vietnamese trains run the length of the country from the capital in the north, Hanoi, to the heart of the biggest metropolis down south, Saigon. We have voracious options for seats, but nothing can beat this 4 bed compartment with soft beds that we luckily had all to ourselves. This is one crazy scenic train ride. You see the mountains, you get the sea, you get these un like we got uninhibited like beaches around. Wow. Look at that. It's like such unspoiled scenery. It turns out to be phenomenal at every turn. The ride leisurely enough along the coastline for us to soak up the mountains in the distance and lapping ocean below. I just couldn't comprehend to think that this is the country I was born in. The country that I still know so little about. The country took me 25 years to finally return to and be able to appreciate my roots. And all along, this nature has stood here long before me and will be here long after me with these same sets of railroads running up and down this country that's shaped like the letter S. It's like Inception, we're staring into a window from our window. <laughs> this whole train ride really makes me think about just so much of the world is still so unexplored even when you think every inch is covered just taking a look out the window shows this as we saw endless coasts that's untouched secluded waiting to be dipped in water that is richly blue and mountains that are so lush and filled with wildlife
the train is now rolling into Hui. Hui is a city clustered around the perfumed river, historical and ornate with citadels, royal tombs, fortresses, and a whole forbidden city. But first, with night falling fast, we hit the streets in search of something to eat. We made it to Huey! Just hop off the train, then we gotta find our way out of the station and to our hotel. This whole street on the weekend, it's pedestrian walking street. It's not even that packed and it's so nice and clean too. I love pedestrian walking streets because especially in Asia when there's no motorbikes, like just trying to like honk honk you over. Look at these boats just parked on the harbor. It's like a lotus uh, leaf. We're in a night market. It's right by the boardwalk and right by the water, which is really nice. There's so much to choose from, so we just decided to plop ourselves down. There's some these plastic, plastic chairs. Look how small that is for you. So cute. And just order some food. So we ordered a few dishes already, and the first dish that came out is well, our snails. Look at this. Good. Just picking up some snail. I think we got this from the French, to be honest, after we got colonized. That's why we eat snails, but who knows? Alright, that's how you take it out. The toothpick is steaming. Mm, chewy. Really nicely flavored. Not too spicy either. We just pop our snail shell. Right now. Get Here's a hot steaming bowl of Bum Ba Wei. And Wei is basically comes from the name itself, Bum Ba Wei. So Ba just means like beef. And Wei is this city where this dish comes from. For more food. Okay, this is the night market goodies. We sell everything as you can see. I mean, like, even flaps if you want it, even succulents if you want it. <laughs> he snagged us a spot, alright. It's another bowl that we got from sitting down. It's a. Uh, actually, I actually don't know what it is. It has beef in it though. It's like a patty type of this. But it seems to be the same or just a variation of the broth from the Bumba Way. It's much spicier. But really nice. Way at night is all lit up and feels like a tumble back in time where Ciclo drivers, that's these guys here with bikes who bike around people like taxis, still work the streets. Where there's an energy that just surges through the alleys for anyone and everyone. Us Vietnamese, whether we're overseas born or living local, our favorite pastime is definitely eating. And no matter what time of the day, Anywhere in this splendor of a country, you can find stalls and vendors selling freshly made snacks and meals for as low as one dollar USD. Like for this delicious bun me. Okay, let's see what these fried chicken taste like and it's all about. Wow, it's full of chicken. So good we went back for more. <laughs> this was just our first two hours in Hue after arriving by train. In the next video, we explore the historical city that's home to legends and emperors. But for now, leave us a comment, give this video a thumbs up, and hit subscribe.